Hello, Marvin. Thank you so much for your comment. You are saying, Hello, Fridos. Your ancestor is Chinese. You converted to Islam doesn't mean that you are Malay. It does no good to compare and condemn other religion. Well, well, well. Yes, I know my ancestor is a Chinese. Uh, but uh, this is one of the fallacies. This is uh, one of the problems that I have. Where, you know, even uh, before I became a Muslim, people would tell me that, you know, your ancestor is a Chinese, your ancestor is a Buddhist, your ancestor is a Taoist, your ancestor is a Confucianist. But then, uh, why stop at... Uh, Buddhism and Taoism because when you look into the fact that uh, Buddhism and Taoism uh, exist around 2,000 plus years and the Chinese people always being proud that they have 5,000 years of civilization so before the ancestor profess or embrace the religions of Confucianism, Taoism or Buddhism okay, what religion do they profess? Why stop only there? And for me as a Muslim, yes I believe that uh, I was born as a Chinese uh, with the view of God, okay? But since you talk about ancestor, yes, I also believe that my ancestor is Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, and uh, Prophet Adam is a Muslim. That's number one. Number two, you converted to Islam doesn't mean that you are Malay. Uh, yes, I agree with you, never that I say that I'm a Malay. Why do you say that I'm a Malay? You see, those words is coming out from you, not me. And I never say and I never claim that I'm a Malay. I'm a Chinese. I can speak Chinese too. Can you speak Chinese? If you want, we can speak in Cantonese. Why not? We come up for a cup of tea. Or you can meet us in Bukit Bintang every Sunday uh, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah? We can see and we can talk and we can discuss over there. In the Mandarin, in Cantonese, in a bit of Hokkien and maybe Hakka. Yeah? I'm still a Chinese. I can't, I can't you know, change how Chinese I am. You can bring me out of... Jinjiang, but you cannot bring Jinjiang out of me. I was born and raised in Jinjiang. So most probably, I'm more Chinese than you. Maybe. <laughs> okay. And uh, you say that, you know, uh, it does no good to compare and condemn other religion. This is one of the problems also that I have. That people always say that I condemn religion, I condemn other people's religion. But yet, tell me where do I condemn? Do you mean that when I stated the fact, like for example, what is stated in the books is considered condemned? Well, in that case, that meaning if you are saying that I'm a man, are you condemning me as a man? When you just stated the fact that I'm a man? No, right? No, rather than you just give me a lame excuse by saying uh, it does no good to compare and condemn other religion, rather than just saying that I condemn, show me where do I condemn. If you think that the evidence that I have brought forward, okay, is not true, and you have something better, you have evidence, do not base it on your emotions, then, well, feel free to refute me with evidence and fact. Because for me, in Islam, it teach me, Hurhatu burhanakum in kuntum sodikin. Bring forward your proof, evidence, if you are truthful. I do not speak from my own whims and desire. I do not make assumption. I just speak based on fact and evidence that is found in the books and in the scriptures. So how about you, Mervin? Looking forward to your reply.